This is a review of the Macroblade 90 from Rollerblade. At $280, the Macroblade 90 is the mid-range offering from Rollerblade, not like a high-performance model, not like the economical Zetra Blade. They're trying to kind of go for something in the middle here. So how's it stack up? I find the Macroblade 90 to be extremely heavy, owing to four 84A wheels. They are very hard, which is great. They, are, they wear extremely well. A couple hundred kilometers, they don't show anywhere at all. The unusual thing about the Macroblade 90 is of all the pairs of rollerblades I own, which I attest to the extreme comfort of rollerblade, they're killing it in comfort, the Macroblade 90 boot is probably the most uncomfortable. I don't know if it is their attempt to do like a, a quick lay system with it or what, but it is quite uncomfortable, I find. In comparison to the other ones, that being said, it's still a rollerblade. It's still extremely comfortable. It's just not as comfortable as a Macroblade 80 or the Zetra Blade are even. I'll compare it to the Macroblade 100 three-wheel drive right off the bat. For an extra 40 bucks, I think the Macroblade 100 three-wheel drive is the better deal. They're about the same weight. The 100 mil wheels, if you're looking for a 90, these are an 85A wheel, these are an 84A. It's a marginal difference, but it's still a difference. The Macroblade 100 is more comfortable, but this is a review about the Macroblade 90, so we'll stick to that. They do ride well. They are very stable. They are fairly quick. They aren't very nimble, and that's why I would suggest the Macroblade 100 through wheel over the Macroblade 94 wheel. These are, on these blades, it's easy to get going real fast in a straight line, but it's not easy to maneuver. They don't stop very quick. Being so heavy, you do notice them. Compared to the Macroblade 80, I like the Macroblade 80 better than the 90 because it's lighter. It is more agile. I find I can go longer without taxing my the smaller muscles in the front of the shin. It doesn't tax the hip flexors as much or the glutes. I feel the workout in the Macroblade 80 is a better workout than the Macroblade 90. And for $80 less, if I had to choose, I would choose the Macroblade 80. Comparing the Macroblade 90 to the Macroblade 80, other than the quick lace system, the boot is almost identical. You can see this is the Macroblade 80 on the right and the 90 on the left. Slightly smaller wheels, obviously, 10 millimeters. 82A hardness on the Macroblade 80, 84A hardness on the Macroblade 90. But you'll see chassis almost identical. The boot is identical on the Macroblade 80 to the Macroblade 90, other than the lace system, just the heavier wheels. So there you go. I think it's better value for the Macroblade 80 than the Macroblade 90. If you're looking for a faster model, I would definitely go with the Macroblade 100 through wheel drive over the Macroblade 90. That being said, I mean, if you're gung-ho for a 90 mil wheel rollerblade, these are still really good value for your money. The Macroblade 90, crushes the K2 Fit 90 BOA, absolutely crushes it in terms of comfort. In terms of skating experience, I would choose the Macroblade 90 over the K2 Fit 90 BOA any day. These are a far superior rollerblade, far superior inline skate to the K2 Fit 90 BOA, the Macroblade 90. More comfortable all around, about the same weight. Another good tool to have in your inline skate arsenal, but it depends on what you want to use them for. If you want to go really far and train really hard, I'd say pass on the Macroblade 90 and go with the Macroblade 80 or even the Zetra Blade. They're just heavier. They are going to tax you out more. You're going to be able to get more miles in. And if you're looking to go really fast and you want to still have that like agile feeling, definitely go with the Macroblade 100 through wheel drive. Personally, I think they just created this model as filler. It's just to compete with the other 90 mil rollerblades out there, but it's definitely not rollerblades best model. It's just sort of a meh model. It's not good, it's not bad. If you're looking for a 90 mil wheel, for the price of 90 mil wheels alone, if it's all you can get your hands on, sometimes this is the only model available in your size, it's still a good roller blade. But if you can get the Macroblade 100 through wheel drive, if you have the choice between this and the 100 mil Macroblade, definitely go with the 100 mil. If you're wondering what model of Macroblade is best for you, if you're looking for long distance, long duration training, I would say Macroblade 80 or Zetra Blade, quite honestly. If you're looking for high performance, I would go with the Macroblade 100. I'm not sure there's a scenario where I would choose the Macroblade 90 other than it was the only model available to me. Hope you found this review helpful. Like I said, there's still decent roller blades, but there are just better options in the roller blade lineup. In my opinion, these are just a filler roller blade. The other models, positives outweigh every single one of these. That's it. Fuck it.